No major bombshells in these minutes on the Fed's future course, but more insight into the debate around the table and issues Jenna Yellen and her colleagues were grappling with back at that October meeting. Remember, that was the meeting when the economy, they acknowledged improvements in the economy, they decided uh, to end their bond buying program, but they also decided to maintain their pledge to keep rates low for a considerable period. The minutes reveal some did want to eliminate the considerable period language altogether, but in the end, the minutes say all but one member agreed that the committee should reiterate the expectation that that it likely would be appropriate to maintain the current target range for the federal funds rate for a considerable time following the end of the asset purchase program in October. The one member thought that the committee should instead strengthen the forward guidance in order to underscore the committee's commitment to its 2% inflation objective. Nariana Kachalakota, of course, being the lone dissenting voice in October. Falling inflation was on the mind of Fed policymakers in October. The minutes suggest that most continue to expect it would eventually move back to their 2% target, but they needed to keep an eye on inflation going forward. Many participants, the minutes say, observe that the committee should remain attentive to evidence of a possible downward shift in longer-term inflation expectations. Some of them noted that if such an outcome occurred, it would be even more worrisome if growth faltered. Now, Fed policymakers at this meeting, Mark, also discussed the gyrations in financial markets that played out in the weeks before, the days before, but they decided not to mention those worries in their statement. The same was true about weakness overseas. Quote, a couple of members suggested, including language in the statement indicating that recent foreign Foreign economic developments had increased uncertainty or had boosted downside risk to the U.S. economic outlook, but participants generally judged that such wording would suggest greater pessimism about the economic outlook than they thought appropriate in the end mark. They decided to leave that out of their statement. The bottom line in the minutes, as we've heard from them publicly, that economic data is going to determine the future course of rates and the eventual liftoff for the Fed when it comes to interest rates. Back to you. And Peter, the, I guess the big meeting will be next month, will be December. And we're also going to have uh, that end-of-the-year press conference from the Fed Chair Janet Yellen as well. We will hear from Janet Yellen, and, and uh, undoubtedly they've been gearing up for that. And Mark, the minutes make clear they are still grappling with communication issues, and they all seem to acknowledge they agree on one thing. It's going to be hard for them to communicate their way forward, uh, but that's what they're dealing with uh, directly right now.